I ain't gonna be holding this thing up for long, let me tell you. Jeez, not at 11.8 pounds. Whew, that thing is getting heavy. But it's not a rifle that you're gonna be sort of standing up holding anyway. You're gonna be shooting this thing off a bipod, shooting prone, maybe even off a bench. Depends what sort of thing you're doing. Guys, let me introduce, just get my breath back. I've, I've done a couple of takes holding that and my arms are just about pumped up now. <laughs> um, let me introduce you to the Seiko TRG22. No, it's not 22 caliber. This one is chambered in 308 Winchester. You can get them in 338 Latmag and 65 Creedmoor. Uh, I'm not sure if they do or the calibers. I think they do, but that's what I've got in my notes anyway. This is a high end, long range rifle. Okay, high end. Let me just roll out some specs and then we'll just, we won't get too geeky in this video. We'll, we'll you know, I'll walk you around the, the rifle, show you everything about it, but I'm not gonna get too geeky. There's a lot of uh, reviews out there that go real, mainly the written reviews that go real sort of geeky into it. I'm just gonna give you the, the usual rack and load style, layman's, layman's review I'm gonna give you. So let's roll out some specs. Uh, I'll just sort of fill you in on all the info, all the boring stuff. Well, it's not boring, but you know what I mean. So Seiko TRG 22A1, this is in 308 Winchester, this one is. Um, it is, uh, the barrel is 26 inches and it's a one in 11 twist rate. Uh, screw cut at the end as well, so, and that's 18 times one mm, the, uh, the uh, screw cut at the end of the barrel list, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, weighing in, I've already touched on the weight, 5.4 kilos or 11.8 pounds, okay? Detachable uh, magazine, 10 plus one magazine, well, 10 round magazine. Um, the overall length is 45 and a half to 47 inches, or that is in uh, metric 11, 11, 153 millimeters all the way up to 1195 millimeters depending on the length of pull. Um, adjustable trigger from uh, 1000 grams to 2000 grams or one kilo to two kilos, we'll measure that in a bit. Folding stock, it's an aluminium chassis with adjustable cheek piece um, and grip and length pull. Uh, Cerakoted in this uh, coyote tan collar which is really cool I'm a big fan of uh, that collar price Whew. not a lot of change out of 6k and that's without the scope the scope's another story like i said guys a high-end rifle my god and they've let me loose with it as well can you believe it it's actually here at the rat cave blimey but it's in safe hands, it's in safe hands. So, there's your specs. Let's take a closer look at this thing then. So, as you can see in the video, um, in the footage that I'll roll in, I, did, I didn't sort of reach this out to its maximum capability because I took this out with me when I went to shooting up at Sharpshooting UK and uh, I was, uh, with the uh, ten, uh, sorry, the twenty thousand subscriber winner, so it was it was mainly his day. But I took this along to sort of test, and I was a little bit ammo limited towards the end of the day when I thought I'd sort of uh, you know get this all zeroed in and uh, you know give it a good test run. But I did put I don't know probably forty to sixty shots through it all together, something like that. Um, got it shooting the gongs. Didn't do any paper punching. It wasn't really. The place to do sort of paper punching so we sort of got it got it zeroed out and we're clanging the gongs at i don't know around i think it's about 550 yards something like that uh, and like i said i was rounds limited it had sort of crappy um well it weren't even match grade ammo it was just some privy ammo just you know just mainly sort of functionality like i say you, you really do need to do a paper punching um 
test for real accuracy testing. But these things are guaranteed sub MOA straight out of the box. So obviously throw decent glass on it. So if I got tons of ammunition, different types of ammunition, then yeah, it would warrant a, um, you know, a proper sort of uh, ammo sort of test, you know, a hundred yards, but I didn't, I didn't have the time, didn't have the ammunition, you know, so um, it's, it's one of them. So just get my excuses out of the way, but it, it is that damn accurate. I mean, for the price, it's going to be accurate and you'll want it to be accurate. So it goes without saying. So let's take it from the stock end then. So like I said, it is a folding stock. So you basically press this button. Now guys, I'm not going to hold this thing up all the time because it weighs a ton. The angle I'm at as well, I'm sort of leaning over my table because my camera's above me. It's just not going to do my back any good. So this button here, all right, then I'll have a bit of a workout. That button there, you press, he says, press, and the stock folds up like so, for sort of easy storage and carriage. Okay, just sort of show you there. God, this thing weighs a ton. And then to, it locks sort of closed like that, so to open it again, you press, press the same button, and uh, you can open it out again, and away she goes back into the normal position. Uh, actually, well, uh, that'll be quite handy to show you, actually, I'll fold it, fold it out like that, so show you the uh, recoil pad. So a nice, soft rubber recoil pad. It's got a bit of a texture on the back of it, almost like, it's like a stippling texture. Seiko's logo there. And then, let's close it back up. I'm done with that now. This thing is fully adjustable, and this is what I love about this rifle. It is so cool. You don't need any tools, you know, no Allen keys or anything like that to adjust the stock. It's just all these push button um, switches, I guess. So there's your length of pull, and it's spring loaded as well. So press it, and it goes out all the way to its extreme. So loads of, um, you know, different settings there for that. So you can really sort of adjust your, adjust your length of pull to whatever you like. And then here, there's a, this is the same on the other side as well. So this thing is pretty ambidextrous. Press that button and that adjusts your uh, cheek piece there, which by the way, is like a, not so soft as the uh, recoil pad, but it's, it's like a um, soft touch. That's probably the best way to explain it. Like a soft touch, real sort of hard rubber. Very comfortable, fully ambidextrous, loads of adjustment in that, as you can see. And then there's also, spin it over, there's a button here, you press that, and then that adjusts your, your recoil pad there as well, in the up and down movement there. So you can really get this thing set up to, you know, to meet your requirements. You know, you're paying nearly six grand, you, you want this gun to fit, so it kind of uh, goes without saying there. Uh, you've also got a hook there, I call them uh, the stock hook, so you can sort of hook, them, hook yourself in and pull the rifle back into your, to your shoulder. Um, no uh, monopod on this, and I guess you could basically, let's sort of demonstrate, you could actually use that as a bag rider as well, I guess. Okay, so it, it would work. Probably not. Mm, well, yeah, it would. I mean, I was I was using it as a bag rider, so it kind of worked. It worked. Uh, aluminium um, frame here for, for the stock. Tough as old boots. And then moving on to the pistol grip, with this being a tactical target rifle you've got like a straight pistol grip i've not got any with me but um as this is a demo rifle but with a brand new one you get loads of uh, pistol grip inlays i say loads i think you get two or three to basically either make it thinner or fatter so that is really cool so it can really depending on the size of your hand that can really you know um customize you know customize the rifle for you so to speak 
Moving on to the action, like I said, um, several coated, all the chassis is in uh, like this. Uh, I think they are available in black, um, but this one, well, they are available in black. Uh, this one is in like the coyote brown tan finish, which is awesome, really cool. Picatinny rail all, all along the top, as you can see, uh, M-lock fore end, uh, and then there is a bit of M-lock there, as you can see. Uh, lift it up to throw on a bipod. I was running, what was I using? I was just running a Vanguard. Um, not amazing. I mean, it's about, kind of up there with Harris. It's not, not amazing, but I was running that. That's all I had at the time. Um, you know, it is what it is. I'm not sure if the... The Seiko actually comes with a uh, bipod, to be fair. I'm not sure if it does. Uh, I'll, I'll put that in the details of the video down below because I've not got that information at the minute. Um, but just a real nice uh, fore end. Like I say, you can really sort of throw on, um, there's loads of options there to throw on um, your M-lock, Picatinny rails. I mean, what else do you throw on on a target rifle? or tactical, tactical rifle, long range rifle that is. What else do you throw on apart from the bipod? What are you gonna throw on the sides? Don't know, you tell me. I always, I always think that's a bit weird with uh, long range rifles. You know, you, you're gonna throw on a scope, you're gonna throw on a can, most of you are anyway. Um, the can I was using by the way, very, very good. Is that one? Just for your information. That's what came with the rifle. Very effective. Um, you know, what are you going to throw on apart from a scope, can, and a bipod? There's not really much else you, you can actually throw on the fore end, is there, apart from throwing on a bipod? Don't know. You, you tell me in the comments. You tell me in the comments. Um, obviously, as you can see, very, very smooth and slick bolt, that is. Oh my God, as you would expect from a Seiko. Magazine, I'll show you more about the bolt in a second, but let's sort of just move on to the magazine. Uh, this is a 10 round magazine, I believe. Um, steel in construction, kind of like the Accuracy International um, magazines. The, this one is single stack though, it's not double stack. The actual, Magazine release. Oh, I've got to spin this round this way. This way it gets gets difficult. Is a massive uh, paddle here, which is really quite nice. Although I don't think it sort of protrudes quite enough. I think it needs to sort of stick stick down a little bit. If you're wearing gloves, I don't know. It's just it's kind of it's big, but it's not sort of there's not a lot on it to get hold of. If that makes sense, it's it's sort of I don't know, Talk, tucked away a bit too much. It needs to be a bit longer, in my opinion, in my opinion. Um, let's talk about the bolt. We're sort of bouncing around here, but you know, that's the way I roll, that's the way I'm rolling. Let's take this bolt out and I'll show you, show you more about the bolt. So here's the bolt. Just took it out for you guys, just give you a closer look. And there is something quite interesting about this bolt, which I'll show you in a minute. I'm getting covered in oil. Look at the quality of that thing. That is a gorgeous bolt. Some serious engineering in that, let me tell you. Now, what is interesting about this bolt, especially the bolt handle, it is quite sort of tactical. It's all polymer, by the way, but notice there, there's like a hex hex head there and that basically is all you need to strip this rifle down no i'm not going to strip it down either <laughs> um, but that hex head it fits uh, these screws here okay so you can sort of strip them down if you want you can also there's a hex head here as well screw there and you can undo that um, shall i do it i'll do it and this is quite interesting. I'll just undo that. 
uh, it's a bit fiddly. You really you need a you know a, a normal sort of hex driver. Uh, but if you're out in the field, this will do the job. But this is quite interesting. You've got a toolkit there, and that's everything you need to basically work on this uh, rifle and change the barrel over if you've uh, got you know another barrel for it you know different caliber you can uh, whip the barrel off it pretty easy no i'm not doing it on camera go and look at another video that'll uh, that will show you how to do that because i certainly i hate stripping stuff down on camera that was stressful enough got here paint just dinked it there um so that's that's that so that's handy to have that little um little tool kit there in that uh, sort of part of the fore end that's really really cool let's put in fact before i put the stock back i'm bouncing all around in this review guys it's, that's how i roll that's how i roll i'll sort of show you just have a look inside there just give you a close-up look let's get it at a different angle i mean some guys you know, your average Joe isn't going to spend six grand on a rifle. They just ain't going to do it. I certainly ain't, let me tell you that for sure. But it's interesting to have a look. It's certainly interesting for me to have a, have a play with these, uh, these rifles. There's no doubt about that. But I'm just bringing this to the table, you know. Guys that are watching this, they're like, oh God, it's like watching a, I mean, I don't know, um, Aston Martin video. You know you're never going to own one, but you just want to watch it anyway. But it's interesting just to look around it. It is a beautiful rifle. To be fair, my Accuracy International, um, well, it's Remington 700 in an Accuracy International stock. I love that thing. I love that thing. It like, cost me, I think it's 1,200 quid. You know, yeah, and it's left hand as well. Yeah. I love that thing. It's the colour that I like. Everything's, you know, good on it. It suits me, it reaches out. It, it does exactly what I want it to do. But this thing is, obviously, it's got all your luxuries on it. I mean, the trigger is, oh my God, it's like a glass rod. We'll measure it in a minute. It's just amazing. And just the build quality, obviously, this is no Remington 700, that's for sure. Um, but just a beautiful rifle. Now, if in case you're wondering, the scope that he's riding on top, and this uh, came with this alone rifle, is a Steiner M5XI 5 to 25 times 56. Nice bit of German engineering. Uh, Boris uh, mounts, uh, sorry, Boris rings. Stunning, stunning scope. Really, really nice scope. Um, way better, way better than my Vortex. Oh my God, it blows the Vortex out of the water. And what I do like about it as well, I mean, I'm not I, I'm not one to get all techie on scopes or anything. It, it's just not me. There's other guys out there like um, Richard Utting, for, for example. It, easy man to, uh, if you want to find out about scopes, go check uh, Richard Utting out, go check his channel out, Sharpshooting UK. He'll tell you everything you need to know about scopes, but check this out. So as you're turning, this, I don't know, it's just quite impressive with the scope. So as you're dialing up and you're coming back around to zero, check this out, watch what happens. What? See that? <laughs> oh my God. That is just so cool. I think I spent more time playing with that than I did actually uh, shooting it. I was like, oh my God, that scope is just genius. Anyway, all right, all right, all right, I'll stop, I'll stop. So yeah, a stunning scope uh, for a stunning rifle, pretty much. Um, then yeah, where else you go? Right, trigger, yeah, that's where I, sorry, I was getting lost. I was, sorry, I was just dreaming about that scope then, daydreaming about the scope. So, uh, just to obviously making sure it's clear, which we know it is, we'll give the trigger a pull. 
just out of interest to see what it is doing. This is a demo rifle, so it is it has been broken in. But oh my god, that's that trigger is just amazing. I'll show it yeah, a little bit closer up in a second. Ooh, drum roll. It is a two-stage trigger. Three pounds twelve. That's pulling out, but oh, it is a stunning trigger. It really is. I, no, I just want to pull that again. Oh, lovely, lovely. Um, that is. I love the safety catch on this as well. That is your safety there. That paddle there. So it's not automatic or anything, so it's fully sort of manual safety catch. And it is so nice just to, you know, you've, you're in your shooting position, you've not got to move your head or anything, you just push your finger forward to take that safety catch off. Yeah, it's a little bit noisy, but this is no hunting rifle, is it? So it's by the by. But that is a lovely, lovely uh, safety catch really well um, sort of uh, let me lift it up again really well indicated as well with the red two red tabs there to show that it's hot that is a real nice safety catch I do love the actual trigger blade itself you know in the uh, in the tan collar oh god lift this thing up again I want to give you a quick look. Polymer coated as well, so it's not cold on the finger. Oh, fully adjustable, as you'd expect. You know, there's no, uh, there's no skimp in there from Seiko. You can even adjust the angle of the, uh, of the trigger blade as well. Okay, and all the tools that you need to do that are located in there on your onboard. Uh, workshop they call it or your onboard toolkit oh, I'm out of breath from holding this thing oh I need to get fit guys um, let's spin it around let's have a look at the other side not that it's much different Ugh. so you just got the uh, the decals there basically telling you what it is and the serial number just a stunning rifle guys I just wanted to show you I mean it's kind of funny, how, how do you review, oh, let's spin it back around. How do you review a, well, it doesn't really matter about the price of it, does it? It's, I, I cannot, I'm not a major uh, long range shooter, okay? It's not something I do all the time. When I'm testing stuff, I'll just see the MOA, basically, just testing them at 100 yards, seeing what the group like. You know, I don't, Always get the opportunity opportunity to sort of go and sort of shoot them at real, real long range. Although you'll be seeing a bit more of that um, in the near future, where we'll be really sort of stretching, uh, stretching out sort of long range. Um, so that'll be cool. But it's interesting, you know, when and I do enjoy taking rifles, you know, and and really shooting them out sort of long range. It, it really is cool fun. There's there's no, you know, there's nothing better than hitting a steel gong that's, you know, way out there, sort of 600, 600 yards beyond. I mean, anything sort of 600 from, you know, 600, anywhere, anywhere above 600 is long distance. Long, well, up to 600 is long, long range as far as I'm concerned. It's, it does take skill, you know. I'm not the greatest shot. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm not one of these guys that, you know, claims to be the best. I'm, I'm not about that, guys. I'm always humbled. And I have had a, a day shooting with the, uh, you see in the previous video, a few videos back, um, where I was at Sharpshooting UK, where I was testing this, where you can see the footage. And I thought I knew, I thought I knew my stuff, okay? My God, you spend a day with Richard Hutton at Sharp Union UK, and my God, will you learn some stuff. My head was mashed after that day, but that's another story. But no, guys, I just thought I'd give you a walk around um, the Seiko TRG, uh, just to sort of show you 
uh, give you some close-ups. Not not get too techy or geeky about it. Just sort of show you it in layman's terms. It is a stunning rifle. It is a six grand rifle. So of course it is going to be stunning. Not everyone's cup of tea, you know. Um, it is tactical. It is tactical. I like to call it. Um, and it is a it is a workhorse. It is this rifle is. I mean, I think once you've got one of these, that's it. You've got it. Hey, you'll never need another rifle again. You just rebarrel this, or get the interchangeable barrels. You know, so you can swap calibers. You know, world is your oyster then. But what a stunning, stunning rifle. Very, very impressive. Very impressive. Uh, I can't think of anything that I don't really like about it. Um, it is fully ambidextrous apart from the bolt. Um, that's pretty much it. I'd probably say, I'd probably say there's a bit too much Picatinny rail. Nobody uses all this Picatinny rail, although it does look good. No one really uses it, do they? Loads and loads of rail. I'm glad they didn't put a load along the bottom. That's, that's all I can say. Um, polymer trigger guard. Yeah. They've got to try and shed some weight, haven't they, somewhere? <laughs> I mean, this is nearly a 12 pound rifle, guys. So, you know, polymer trigger guard, don't moan about it. You know, it's, it's just to make things a little bit lighter. I mean, that is just the quality of this rifle, the build of it. That's what gives it the weight, I think. Um, unless they made it out of sort of titanium where it was super lightweight, you'd pay even more, wouldn't you? So it is what it is, but wow, stunning rifle. I just love, I think my favorite part about it, there's nothing I can fault on it really. There really isn't. But my favorite bit about this rifle is the way you can just press press buttons just to adjust stuff everything's spring loaded he says i ain't broke it have i i just love that I, I love the adjustability of it it is just easy to do tool free um you have got a sling swivel ambidextrous sling swivel um well swing loops er, there and there not one at the front but the world is your oyster if you want to throw one on the front you know just get one uh an M lock one, throw it on. Oh, there is different uh, sling mounting options here as well. If you so desire, you know, you can pretty much, I mean, you're, you're not gonna sling this rifle, are you? To be fair, <laughs> I know I wouldn't. Here, go in a nice uh, drag bag, nice and protected out of the elements. <laughs> But wow, what a rifle, what a rifle. Stunning, stunning rifle. I'm, bu I'm buzzing off using this thing. It really was a pleasure to shoot. I just wish I had had loads more ammo. And no, I, I haven't got a, an ammo sponsor. I need one though, please, if anyone's listening. Send me a pallet of ammo every month. Uh, no, unfortunately, guys, I have to... Uh, Get, them, get the ammo together myself, you know, it comes out of my own funds. Occasionally I'll get a few boxes of um, suppliers, but 99% of the time I'm getting my own ammo, guys. So, you know, apologies if uh, there isn't like loads and loads of targets to show you and stuff. Uh, sometimes it is what it is, you know, depending on where I am, uh, what I'm shooting, how many guns I've got to test, you know, it is... Uh, it's it's down to the pennies at the end of the day you know so but yeah wow stunning rifle i think i've said that enough anyway guys that is it that is just a review walk around layman's review of the seiko trg special thanks to gmk for the lone rifle and scope thanks for watching guys that is rack and load see ya